Hi, everyone. It is Wednesday, August 10th, and this is the DEI Working Group for Chaos. We're really happy to have everybody here. We'll probably have a few more people filtering in because that happens, and that's totally fine. Um, Sean was the facilitator, but I'm going to just step in real quick here at the beginning. Um, if you could add your name to the agenda, that would be awesome. Let me share. Here we go. We have a super light agenda today. Um, so if you have things that have been on your mind and we haven't had a chance to go over them, today might be your day. I'll put my name on here. And I don't remember the name of the song that I listened to. I have a, uh, I've been listening to um, Sirius XM Chill Station, which is called, they call it Down Tempo and Deep House, <laughs> which I didn't know I was so cool, but apparently there you go. Uh, I just like the vibe. So whatever was on there last is what I listened to. If you, if you do have Sirius or if you like that kind of music, it's kind of like kind of like electronic dance, but chiller than that. It's hard to explain, but it's good. Highly recommend A plus. Um, we need a facilitator for next meeting. Does anybody have uh, an interest in doing that? If you've never done it before, it might be your time to do it. There are, um, there's a page you can read that gives you all the information you need to know on how to do it. So it's pretty easy. And if nobody wants to do it, I can certainly do it. I don't, I don't mind at all. But I know people get here tired of uh, hearing me jabber on about stuff so I want to give people other people a chance to do it I want to hear other jabbers all right well I'll do it and I'll put here unless someone else wants to smiley all right so um, I looked at the old uh, uh, last week's agenda and I'm still working on this list. Um, Oma and Precious were so kind enough to review all of these metrics. I'm just getting them kind of cleaned up and put into PRs and then they're reviewing them and um, I'm merging them. And then I will open the issue in the translation repo for all of these. Um, I just have a few left, just cleaning up some markdown and stuff like that. So it's not hard. It's just taking me longer than I thought it would, <laughs> as most things do. I don't, I'm not good at figuring out how long or estimating how long things are going to take me. So apologies that it's taken a while, but I'm working on it. Um, also, we did have a question about this project burnout one, because there was um, an issue and we'll go over this actually in the next item. Uh, there's an open issue in, uh, let's see here, in the DEI working group, which is right here. Um, there's an open issue about renaming that metric. And so we've kind of gone back and forth. We haven't really made any definitive decisions on that. So last week we thought maybe we would take it to the broader community just to kind of see what they thought about that. And so I just dropped it in Slack like 10 minutes ago because I realized that I should have done that earlier and I didn't. So I just put it in Slack. Um, we'll see if there's a clear clear feeling in the community. If there isn't, I'm, I'm going to recommend we just leave it how it is. If we don't have enough support and strong feelings about changing it, then we should just leave it as it is, I think. So does anybody have comments about that? questions yeah elizabeth i think i saw what you shared and i think i'm reading through it to the best of my opinion there should be some reworking around that matrix but renaming it to wellness might become problematic itself to the very sense of it because we you remember when this matrix came up i was really curious to know that it's a lot of information we are giving that we cannot accounting for the different facet for example, if we have to rename to wellness, 
we are stepping outside a realm that we don't have the tools, the expertise, the talent, even to understand what is wellness in this context. It's very complicated to measure. It's doable, but it's not within our realm, our realm to, to go into that uh, direction. We are talking about metrics, something that we can measure. Now, if we want to approach burnout in a socio-technical perspective, okay, then we can do that. Even the word project burnout, the way I have read it, they still need to do some kind of rework because we are talking about project, not even uh, contributors burnout, not even maintenance burnout. Then we, if we, I mean, I will try to give some feedback on what I, I think about this, uh, this topic, but, Upfront, I'll tell you, I'm not really comfortable with the name maintenance well, well, uh, wellness. If they were talking about maintenance burnout, I will 100% go in for that. Because now we, are, we can measure that to the best of our ability. There are metrics we can help to, if not really measure it, but we can try to approximate that project is still broad. Then going to wellness and maintenance, it's something very complicated. Yeah. I think that's fair. Um, and I would tend to agree with you that kind of stepping into the realm of wellness, we're stepping outside of our expertise and kind of, yeah, going into uncharted territory where we're not really maybe okay to go. Um, so yeah, I think that's absolutely valid feedback, 100%. Do you wanna drop that comment Armstrong in the issue? Just yes, so it's like I, 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 yes, I want really to read through so that when I'm going through it, there are other suggestions that I can also make. You know, like currently there are tools and uh, techniques that have been developed in computer science and AI that can track contributors to even uh, like this uh, human computer interaction. When you are writing code, you stand in front of the screen, it is reading the iris, your iris. It can measure your blood pressure. It can measure some other factors just to give indicators. We, uh, we have not reached that level at this uh, chaos to do those kind of sophisticated work. And yet those factors are still subject to criticism because somebody might be joining uh, an open source community with a pre-condition of high blood pressure, diabetics and things like that, that is under control. So what, what are our thresholds of measuring things? We do we even have that expertise to start knowing when if somebody is going through a, a conditions like marital difficulties, divorce, all those are factors that will come in as co-founders. It doesn't necessarily mean because they are in an open source, then the problem is open source. No, they might be having life-related issues that they are not handling it differently uh, in, in the right way. Well, I will not use the word in the right way that is overwhelming. Then it's just crippling in. So we really need to be careful in this realm. I've read a lot of works out there with projects, open source people are just using what, I mean, we should not fall into that trap. We are free, I mean, it's a good idea to talk about burnout, but we really need to tell it in a way that is measurable and purposeful. I will drop my, my, my feedback, please. Yeah, that's another excellent point. I'll drop the link to the issue in this chat right here in case anyone else wants to drop their two cents in. But I think that's an excellent point that, you know, we can't measure things outside of the project. We're trying to focus on what's going on within the project. And um, yeah, we have no control over what is going on in people's lives otherwise and how they're feeling because of other external factors. So excellent point. Thank you, Armstrong. That's great. I'm I'm even more learning to or leaning towards just leaving the the metric how it is. Like, <laughs> I think after hearing okay. your words. Yeah. So yeah. All right. So that was the re that was that first item. And then I thought maybe we could take some time to kind of look through these issues because we do have 12 open issues in our repo. And occasionally it's good to go through them. I know a lot of these are metric ideas, but um, there are a few things that aren't. And one thing was inclusive naming checklist. 
Um, I wanted to kind of see if this is something we want to resurface. Um, what this inclusive naming, if you're not uh, familiar with this initiative, it's a really great project, also part of the Linux Foundation. It aims to remove the um, kind of uh, just questionable terms that don't need to be in there that have not great connotations and can be really harmful to a community. And so this is currently not something that we add in to our our metrics as a checklist by default. And um, we thought maybe this might be something we could use for a um, uh, like an internship project to kind of review all of our metrics and, and look for things. They have a very long list of um, of words. Um, and, and as Matt C, oops, I lost the uh, issue there. Uh, Matt C had commented some some replace immediately, like these are low hanging fruit, so to speak, that should be replaced immediately. Um, no question. Here's some other kind of uh, recommendations from them. But here, here this is, and I'll open this in a new tab too, so we can kind of see it. Um, and then they have again their their word lists. So um, you know, here are here are some of them. They also have a repo. So if you do have experience in this or some thoughts about this, then at, by all means, feel free to join that community because they're awesome. I lurk in their Slack, but I'm not super active. So, um, but they are really great. Um, is this something that can we you, want? Can you drop the Can you drop the link to the channel on? For yeah, please? sure. Yeah. Let me just go back to here's the main their main link. And again, they're an open source project, also part of Linux Foundation too. So I, you know, I'm not sure what we want to do with this. If we want to add this to the metrics template as another check, I hate to kind of like our metrics templates kind of getting long, <laughs> all the different quality checks and things we're trying to incorporate in our metrics to make them the best that they can be. But um, I think this is kind of important. And I don't know, do we want to add that to the metrics template or bring it to the chaos community meeting? I'd love to hear everybody's thoughts on this. Yeah, I think um, bringing it to the community meeting would be a great idea. So lucky for me, I know the person who does those agendas. So I, <laughs> I can make sure 100% that that gets brought up at the community meeting and I can add that to the agenda. Do you all think this is something that would be maybe something um, that like a newcomer to chaos could could kind of take and run with and, and do checks for this? Like just reading through the metrics and kind of looking for some of these words. Or do you think um, it's something that we should add as a, an internship project next round, whatever our next <laughs> whatever our next mentor mentorship uh, project happens to be? Or, or what do you all yes. think? I, to my opinion, I think this is a good work to do as an internship, like this Google Code of Summer, the Outreach, any of this program that will come in. So that one, one or two people might really focus with some series of mentors then community will also have opportunity to give feedback since they'll be specific on searching for particular uh, let's say keyword or uh, naming in the text that will be a very good avenue i mean it will be more focused Yeah, I think it would be awesome if there was a stronger connection between chaos and this group. Um, we haven't really had anybody that can kind of bridge that and like be kind of our ambassador to that group and, you know, kind of keep an eye on what they're talking about and what they're doing and, and bring that back to chaos. So I think that that would also be something that might be an opportunity for somebody um, to, to kind of take that 
that role unofficially of um, just someone that kind of is has you know um, hands in both pots or <laughs> feet in both sides. I don't know how to say it, but um, I know early on, like I, there were a bunch of us in both groups. Um, I've kind of died out over there just because the meeting times aren't great for me. Um, Justin might still be involved. I'm not sure. I'm in the exact same boat, Amy. It's like I, like I said, I'm still in their Slack and I still kind of keep an eye on it, but not really in the meetings. Yeah, I never could make them. So um, they're still on my calendar. They just don't ever yep. get attended. <laughs> I just yep, kind of yep. because I'm like, I can't make that. Um, but yeah, they're a really nice group if anyone wants to join it. And I think what they're doing is is really important, especially with regard to you know inclusivity and open source. Like I just think that they're really um, focusing on some awesome things. And I know that they've had a little bit of resistance from people um, that don't see the need for it, um, and that makes me sad. So I like personally, I would just really want to support them more, and you know, just I don't know, help them. I don't, I don't know how to say it. I don't want them to, you know, I don't think like valid validating them. I don't think that's the right word, but I just feel like, you know, they could maybe use support from other open source communities that get it, that understand and appreciate what they're doing. So yeah, I think it would be awesome. Any other thoughts on inclusive naming before I move on to the next issue? I'm gonna just put a thing in here just to kind of keep it in the, uh, keep it fresh. Um, Go. Just so people who are in this conversation know that, yeah, we still care about this. We haven't forgotten about it. We're just not quite sure what the next step should be. So um, this is just an open issue that we keep for anyone who's newish to the community. We just keep one of these open um, for when it's time to do our metrics release. We kind of drop in everything in that one issue for the release team to see all the, all the um, new metrics and things. So that's just always there. Um, and this one we kind of talked about, and we'll probably be wrapping that up pretty soon. Um, and then these are some metric ideas that are still kind of just floating out there. We have them also on our spreadsheet. Um, I know we haven't really been focused on creating new metric ideas, but I kind of wanted to remind everyone that they're still there. And we have actually, since DEI Working Group uh, inherited a bunch of ideas from the Value Working Group as well. Like we have a ton of ideas. So if any of these speak to you, any of these considerings, by all means, feel free to open the, the metrics template. And a link is at the top of the this spreadsheet here, which is also linked in our minutes there. Um, this is the template that you would start with. And you just pull this, pop it into a Google Doc. And then, you know, just kind of start dropping your thoughts in and then bring it to the, bring it to this working group and we'll all jump in and start adding more things. So um, if, if, again, if there's any on here that speak to you personally or something you would really like us to have available for people, uh, other users who are using chaos metrics, um, there's a lot of ideas. <laughs> so yeah, it'd be great to have some movement on some of these, I think. And then the last, um, we'll just kind of skip over all these ideas then for now, but the last issue I wanted to bring up was this idea of um, doing an interview with some people who are um, kind of, uh, I don't know if experts is the right word, I don't know, but who care about diversity, equity, inclusion, and open source. 
Um, because the thought was, and you can see this is a really old issue. Again, it's one of those things that we have a great idea. We just haven't had the time, energy, space to implement it. Um, but what uh, Justin was suggesting is that um, we include more people in the development of metrics just so that the metrics we're focusing on and working on aren't limited by our own biases and our own lens that we see the world through. So um, like, like we don't have really anyone who is visually impaired working on these metrics or, um, you know, we don't, we don't have, we're, we're missing some, some key pieces, I think, to this diversity puzzle. And so the idea was that we would do an interview with some people who do have expertise in this area, the things that they measure, the ways that they think about it, just to kind of fill in some of the gaps that we just have in our community. Um, we still, you know, every time we talk about it, we think, yes, it does have value, um, but it is a, a, a big ask um, because it, it's gonna be kind of a big project. So we were going to pose it to the DEI audit team, which I don't think we ended up doing, or I think we did, but yes, we put it on the back burner. Um, we were thinking about doing a birds of a feather, but again, like this stuff kind of gets buried. So do we want to bring that back up to the chaos con committee? Do we want to, again, think about this as something that an internship project might be good at? Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on these, on this. I dropped the issue in the chat also, so you can kind of read through. I think that that sounds like an internship project. That is something that's going to be, it's not an evening work on it. That's a coordinate with people during office hours type of thing. So maybe, having somebody come in who is looking at specifically um, maybe not even someone who's looking for an internship in open source or in tech as much as um, like specifically diversity and inclusion or specifically um, something that might fit in with that like um, disability access, someone who is more in that field than in the tech field. It would bring a different perspective and it, it, they probably have more contacts. Yeah, I know showing up at Grace Hopper on crutches one year in Orlando, even though I had a handicapped parking permit, just because there's parking spots doesn't mean it's really accessible. I mean, I had a crutch like a mile to get into the building where Grace Hopper was. So I think that's a really good aspect, <clears throat> Katie, to discuss because people don't think about that. And, you know, it, they check the boxes. We even check all the boxes on the badging program. But just because it checks a box doesn't mean it's really accessible. Okay, so we're thinking that this um, idea to bring it as part of our chaos con event, which is already super booked and super packed, um, might be uh, not as not as in depth as we could ha have if we'd made it an internship project. An internship project might give it the attention and the in depth energy and and time that it deserves. What, what about you make it an internship project, but in order to help the person with who's gonna start it, at ChaosCon, we just set up a booth and like with a ring light and a phone or a tablet and just have a set of prompts and don't, don't push it as something very specific, but just say, hey, if anybody has an opportunity and wants to take a look at the prompts out in the hall, there is a booth where you can record a 30 second video with your experience on these things or your thoughts and insights. 
it's a self-service then, and it gives a foundation for somebody coming in to work on the project. So they have some material to work with from people in our community already. Does anyone know if that's a good that's a good idea, Katie? Um, does anyone know if these birds of feathers is that something you have to sign up for in advance, or is that something you do on site? I've not done any of these at OSSEU before. Um, we could probably reach out to them and find out. I mean, I've kind of done it both. I've done it sometimes as part of a CFP, but sometimes they have the space available and you can just ask for it. I am not going to be on site. And so I, I always feel bad about like volunteering others to do things that I think are cool. <laughs> So because I'm not going to be on site, um, someone else would really kind of have to take ownership of this and, and run with it. Um, but if we do have somebody that's interested in that, um, I can also drop it in the ChaosCon Slack channel to see if anyone wants to kind of run with this. We, we don't really have a lot of guidance around what kinds of questions, what our goals were. We really were just thinking that we have some gaps in our own experience and expertise. And so it would be good to reach out to others. That was really the extent of it, I think. So there might be a lot of pre-work that needs to be done uh, with this in order to kind of get those things better defined. So this might not be a super easy project. And we set it up as an internship project and they could get all the framework and then the interviews that chaos con next year could be the culmination of it they could set it up to do interviews in the hallway or set an event at the conference that's a that's a great idea i think i kind of like that idea better than trying to uh, push it into this year and figure it out for this year because chaos con eu eu is like a month away. <laughs> so it's already kind of coming up soon. And um, what is what do other people think about that? Maybe for next next round of internships, adding this as an idea? That's a good idea. Do we know where Linux Foundation is going next? Because I'm assuming Chaos Con will come back to the US. That's a great question. Uh, I'm not sure if they've announced. We could search real quick. Um, well, that's the 22, but maybe they have. Uh, maybe they have a link to 23 somewhere. Let's see. They should have announced it in Austin. I didn't go to the keynotes though. Yeah, I didn't. Hear. <laughs> I didn't either. <laughs> so I don't know. Uh, let's see if they have anything. Yeah, I admit to being just, I wasn't fully in because I was staying at home and doing stuff at home. So it's hard was, to juggle that. Right? Yeah, I just was not as focused as it normally was. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Uh, December. But it looks like they're only going out as far as December. So all right, um, let me also to, ask on it. Yeah, we'll wait, but uh, let's see. Could plan to do something at the next chaos con in 2023. I like that. And I like the fact that, um, like, I want to keep this idea alive. I don't think, like, we've you know, it's one of those, again, that we've kind of gone back and forth because it's a lot of work and we have other things going on and nobody's really had the time, energy or um, ability to do this because um, it is a lot. But uh, I think it's really important. And I think it's important for us as a project to make sure that we're, you know, being as inclusive as possible and covering um, as many voices as we can and, and perspectives as we can. So. Anita, did you want to say something? Well, yeah, um, this looks like an interesting project and um, I think I want to have on it. Awesome. 
Well, that's good news. Um, yeah, let's figure out what that means. Like, let's, um, I'm not sure. Yeah. Like, do you want to, do you want to wait and see if there's like an internship uh, pro program that you want to apply for? Or do you want to kind of take this and run with it? Or how, what do you, what are your thoughts? Um, I think we're still deliberating on whether it should be an internship. I really don't mind though. If it turns out not to be an internship program, I can still take it on. It just looks like something really, really interesting that I want to get involved in. Okay, that sounds interesting. Is uh, uh, Anita, are you talking about the DI uh, naming uh, metrics? No, I'm talking about the interviewing campaign for underrepresented groups. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's interesting. I think that's a good opportunity to my opinion, Elizabeth. Okay. Uh, Anita, do you um do you want to then maybe just like start a doc where you just kind of start your thoughts um, about you know what you how you think something like this could roll out or what we should include or not include or just you know just as a starting point do you is oh, that something yeah, you sure. do? okay yes. cool I'll draft something and uh, bring it back to the team yeah awesome awesome all right that's fantastic um, I'm just gonna drop this in the minutes here. And is it okay if I put you something in this issue also that kind of we yeah, discussed um, it? Yeah, um, you can just mention me in the issue. Do I have your, uh, what's your thing? And is that human? Just like that? I think there is um, a hyphen in between. Okay. And it is capital letter. Okay. Trying to mention some other random person like that, maybe. A is a capital letter. Oh, why am I so hard to find? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You're hiding where are you? I don't know. All right, I'll, I'll just look. share. I'll just share the link right here. Okay. <laughs> you know, it's funny because I every time I type maths, I just type germ, and it will auto, you know, auto complete. But sometime, one time it didn't. And so we just started bringing this person this was at germ into the conversation. And it was some random woman, this poor woman. And she was like, I don't know what's going on, but now I have action items that I don't know how to do. So it's like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. This was not meant for you. I apologize. Well, <laughs> so, I think the I think the I is a small letter from what yes. I so Okay. Okay, we'll try that. We'll oh, what happened? Oh cancel okay here we go um i'm gonna do a little ta-da So the, this kind of uh, work, is it limited to interview or is it is there a kind of follow up to have a broader, uh, a broad view of underrepresented people? I mean, because I it, think it, yeah, go ahead. If we are going only for interview, you know, the selection process, sometimes it's, uh, it's limiting and it's just a trade off that I'm trying to, to see. It's a good idea. And then the kind of interview from the screening. Anyway, when Anita will uh, bring out some draft, we'll give our feedback to see the kind of screener that uh, will, is most appropriate for this kind of uh, study, yeah. for this kind of interview. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I think it's wide open. Like we, we there are, it, it can be whatever we decide we want it to be 
to be perfectly okay. frank, like we don't have any guidelines. So um, it, maybe it's a mix of both. Maybe it's a mix of in-depth interviews with people. Maybe it's just like a call on Twitter. Like, hey, we want to know what your thoughts are. What metrics are we missing? What, you know, what, mm -hmm. what should we be looking at that we aren't? Like those kinds of things. So I think it could be whatever. Okay. Yeah, because, you know, we uh, there are many other ways that things, the, the first, the fundamental thing is start somewhere. We should start some, and she thinks she's shown the interest and excited about it. At least let us start from there, then we see the feedback on how we could expand to reach out to a broader community. Yeah, I agree, I agree. And we have, um, we have, you know, like, um, I'm sorry, Delay, go ahead. Oh, we have, uh, you know, Matt and Sean and, and Vinod and Kevin and others who have extensive experience with rolling out surveys and keeping data private and all of that stuff. That's what they do in their university jobs. So, um, as far as that goes, we do have that kind of experience where we can tap into them. Um, if we end up doing a survey that's, you know, maybe of a little sensitive nature, I don't know, but just to throw that out there, we do have that experience. So we can, we can certainly use that. Anita, thank you. It looks like it did uh, find you eventually. <laughs> so yay. <laughs> thank you for doing that. That's super awesome. I'm really excited um, to hear that. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. All right, we have about 10, 11 minutes left. We don't have anything else on the agenda. So are there other things that you all wanna talk about? If not, we can certainly end the meeting a little early. That's not a problem at all. And you have 10 extra minutes to go get coffee or whatever else you want, some lunch or dinner, food. That's where my thought always goes is, oh, I can get more food now. <laughs> maybe, maybe not great, but that's what it is. So, yeah. All right. Well, I will stop sharing and I will stop the recording.